uh, this is outrageous behavior, and this is a very serious time for America. Uh, I encourage all Americans to put their uh, political party affiliations aside and focus on uh, what is right and the basis of our Constitution. And the fact now that the Trump, that the president has admitted that he did in fact uh, pressure the Ukrainian president, he put his personal political interest ahead of the United States of America's <laughs> military and national security interest. That is plain, but now the House is proceeding in a very deliberate, deliberate way, an expeditious way, to get all of that on the record. The, uh, this brave whistleblower will testify in closed session before the Intelligence Committee this week. Same with the Intelligence Community uh, Inspector General, who, by the way, was appointed by President Trump. Uh, the the DNI director, Joe McGuire, who testified in open session last week, has pledged to keep the whistleblower safe and to make that a priority. That's uh, very important because of the disturbing comments from the president over the past few days, threatening the whistleblower, uh, threatening his life, threatening Adam Schiff's life. This is outrageous behavior, and I think now is a time for... for uh, sober uh, deliberation and and action moving this impeachment. You were one of the last to get on board when it came to impeachment, or not one, but there were dozens that came on right. Actually, no one. A actually, no one asked me really. <laughs> I, I think that people were caught up in the semantic. Uh, discussion on whether it's an impeachment inquiry or whether it's not. The fact was we had six congressional committees moving forward investigating the financial ties. What, one of the surprising aspects of all this was I expected uh, Mueller, uh, the special prosecutor, to actually delve into potential financial ties between the, the Trump Organization, President Trump, and oligarchs, uh, other interests. He didn't touch that. Uh, so that was then made plain that the congressional committees had their job to do. Um, but this is beyond the pale now, what has happened, because it's, it's plain as day that the president has betrayed his own office. He's abused his power in uh, trading our uh, national security interests uh, for a personal, uh, a personal vendetta. Uh, and now these new revelations that the Secretary of State and the uh, Attorney General were also involved is, is just that one of, we're now in one of the most serious periods uh, ever. It's definitely since I've been uh, representing the Tampa Bay area. One of them, and I'm a student of history. Uh, I love this country. I think everyone loves and cares for America. And the American people now uh, are, are as concerned as ever about where we go. And finally, I want to ask uh, the, the most likely outcome, it seems, it's possible the, the House will impeach the President and then it will go to the Senate where there's a majority of Republicans, and so it's within the realm of possibilities that the president will not uh, be found guilty of those high crimes and misdemeanors. Politically, if that's the case, if that happens, will that politically uh, affect next year's election, or will that hurt Democrats? You know, Sean, I'm not sure that anyone understands where this is going right now. We're in uncharted territory. It, as the DNI director last week said, this is unprecedented. The, the complaint of the whistleblower that came over uh, was deemed urgent, of an urgent concern, and uh, the Trump administration, with unbelievably the, the Attorney General's help, they've tried to cover it up. Now, the facts are fairly plain here, but it will be important to establish this in, in congressional hearings uh, to move quickly to because our, our system of government really is at risk. Our status in the world, how we interact with our allies, how we, um, how we confront our adversaries, Trump has turned that on its head. And this is uh, just a, one of the most dire situations I've seen in my time. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks. Thank you.